If you're like me and you're looking for a way to treat the saggy skin on your stomach, you can't or you don't want a tummy tuck because you don't want the scars or you just can't afford it, this is the video for you. So today I'm going to be using microneedling to help tighten the skin on my stomach. The reason why I'm choosing to use microneedling is because I have, have had such great success using microneedling on my face that I want to apply it to my stomach. Hi, I'm Teresa. So why microneedling? If you do a quick Google search and you ask it, microneedling and collagen induction, you will see that it says the needles penetrate the stratum corneum and create small holes known as microconduits with minimal damage to the epidermis. This sequentially leads to the generation of growth factors which stimulate the production of collagen and elastin in the papillary layer of the dermis. So that's what I'm trying to do on my stomach and you will see what I'm talking about in just a minute. So my stomach is saggy from gaining weight, losing weight, sun damage, age, loss of estrogen, all of the things. I am 47 years old for reference. So microneedling is my go-to when I need to tighten the skin. So I am using the Derminator 2 today and devices matter. I see a lot of people promoting the Dr. Pens and I'm sad to say that I used to promote Dr. Pens. I want you to watch this video right here, which will demonstrate why you should switch to the Derminator 2. The reason why I don't recommend the Dr. Pens, they don't have an actuator that actually pulls up. So this has a very strong magnet in this that helps to pull the needles up and out very fast. So this is going to puncture the skin 25 punches per second. The Dr. Pens do 200 punches per second. They're not able to get out of the skin. They are ripping and tearing as they are going because it just, they're battery operated. They don't have enough power to pull those needles up and down as quickly as they need to be. When we are microneedling, we want the Goldilocks effect. So we want the least amount of trauma, which produces the greatest amount of results. So more trauma and more bleeding does not mean you are going to get better results. It's actually quite the opposite. So you want the perfect amount of trauma to the skin when you are microneedling. The folks over at Vodder Wellness who make the Derminator 2, they know what they're talking about when it comes to collagen induction. You won't see them making 36 pin cartridges because they don't do anything. 36 pin is better for the body, but they don't make them for the body. That doesn't matter. I'm trying to build collagen, so 12 pin cartridges are perfect. Nine to 12 pin cartridges are amazing. That's all you need, 36 pin, eh, throw them out. You don't need them. I'm not trying to resurface the skin, I'm trying to build collagen. When you microneedle, you need slip. So you need slip when you're dragging the microneedling pen across your skin. So hyaluronic acid. Now, specifically, you want high weight hyaluronic acid, not low weight. Low weight hyaluronic acid is actually age inducing, low molecular weight, inflammatory, high weight, not inflammatory. So that's why you want a high weight hyaluronic acid. And technically Costa Baja, they do not recommend their serum, their hyaluronic acid serum for microneedling. I still do it because it is the easiest hyaluronic acid to get. You can just get it off of Amazon. Of course, I will link it down below as well as the Derminator too. Do not buy the droppers because you never want to be putting the dropper on your skin and putting it back into the bottle, you're just contaminating it. So get the pump and you're gonna put it in a bowl. I like to do beakers and also do things like growth factors. So these, this is Velazum with Velotox. So these are growth factors. These are GF11, also add copper peptides and you can also add more growth factors. So Anti-Age actually has a microneedling serum that you can use. It is quite expensive, or you can go with Bradceuticals, which I will link them down below. This is not a one and done treatment. You are going to need to continue to do this because this is not a quick fix. There is no quick fix in DIY anti-aging. It is all about consistency and being determined to do it. You're gonna do this every four to six weeks. And it can be quite painful because you are going at depths of 1.5 millimeters to 2.5 millimeters. It is going to be very painful. I recommend the Numb Skin off of Amazon. Let's go ahead and let's get into this video. Hey guys, being vulnerable here, but this is what I'm talking about. See that? I don't like it. This Germinator, you never want to turn it on without this red cap at least being on, but I would never recommend putting it on without having the cartridge on. 70% so isopropyl alcohol. Why 70% and not 91%? 91% does not disinfect. So 91% is defatting and 50% won't uh, disinfect either. So you want to use 70%. All right, people, turn on the Derminator on. Single needle, no. Nine needle, no. 12 needle, yes. Always answer correctly. Timer, no. Slow, no. We wanna go fast. I'm gonna start out at 1.25 at uh, fast 
can't begin to tell you like how much I love this panel. So it's just the Mito Red Man, much more affordable than the Omnilux Contour. And this actually works and you can use it on your body and it's so much faster and I just love it so much. And then I dispose of them. I'm really glad that I decided to bring a towel out here. Cold. Be updates on this for quite a while just because it is collagen building and collagen takes a minimum of three three to four months but I'll come back and I will at least document the uh, the healing part of it all right so it's been nine days my stomach is still peeling a little bit the body it takes longer to peel anyway it is kind of sensitive when I wear the high-rise jeans but I mean that's okay probably have gained a couple of pounds because I've been eating nothing but chocolate this week. And obviously it's gonna take time for collagen, so not much updates, but overall healing really, really well. And I will be doing it again. And so on the peeling, whether or not I do it in three weeks. So I gotta be fully healed. So that's the thing, listen to your body. Even though a sheet says you can do it every four weeks, um, we'll find out. All right guys, um, until the next video.